hi hello everyone uh, welcome to the channel and uh, in today's video we will be looking into check-in and check-out feature of a document library uh, why we use it okay what is the advantage and disadvantage of this and uh, how to use that in a practical uh, situation okay so i have this document library opened up in order to enable the check-in and check-out feature on the library so we will need to go to the library settings okay i'm clicking on this gear icon on top and then let's go to library settings let's go to more library settings and then let's go to version settings and uh, let's scroll down let's look for this particular function required checkout so i'll keep this yes okay and hit okay so check in and check out is enabled on this library and uh, why do we use it so basically uh, as you are aware that sharepoint is a platform wherein you can work with the uh, collaboration on multiple office files like word powerpoint excel and so on so in uh, if suppose um, in a company you want that um, a particular person should work on one file at a particular time no other person would be able to make any changes to the file so you just want that one person at a time works on the file so in those scenario check in check out comes in place it basically stops the collaboration feature so since uh, we have enabled the check in and check out on the library so let's see how does it work in a practical situation okay so i'll do a side by side for you because we need one another user and i have one another user opened up here already okay so this is a test user and let's make it side by side okay so on the left hand side i have this test user you can see that it's rahul test okay and on the right hand side i have my main account which is rahul bakel okay so i will be creating a file here and we'll look into the scenarios that what happens when we create a file and what happens when we upload a file okay so firstly i am creating a file here let's create a word document okay so i'm creating a word document here and let's make it a very simple file let's put in test as a verb yeah. okay close this and remember files are auto save so uh, i i can close it directly and the changes will be saved automatically okay now you can see that there is the red downward arrow key is downward uh, um, arrow is there okay it means that file is basically checked out to me automatically because i am the one who have created this file okay so this file is already created uh, 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 this file is already been checked out okay now if you just hover the cursor on the file you would be able to see this uh, this particular message here which says that you checked out this item so others cannot edit okay and uh, let me show you one more thing that the file is basically checked out to, uh, to me okay uh, the moment I create a file or upload a file it basically checked out to uh, the person who creates it or uploads it and the other persons won't be able to see it okay let me show you so you can see on the left hand side I'm not uh, you know, I'm not editing the file on the right hand side you can see that I'm not editing the file the file is not open it's just that I've created the file I put in a, a some verb into it and I close the file but still I'm not able to see the file on the left hand side okay and uh, for bifurcation let me show you what is the permission of uh, both of the users on the site okay this uh, Rahul test okay this one is basically a site admin and the user which created the file okay this Rahul okay it's basically just a site member with edit rights on the site on the site so you can see that even being a site administrator this travel test being a site administrator the user is not able to see the document okay it is checked out to me basically and the moment i check in the file okay 
I'll go to more option. I'll check in. If you want to put if you want to put in any comments, then you can surely do it. Otherwise, you can just uh, click simply click on check in. So the moment you click on check in, the file is available for other users to edit upon. Now I'll just come on the left screen. I'll refresh this. So you can see that the file will uh, show up here. Okay. So it's loading at the moment. Let's uh, wait for uh, 20 seconds. Okay. You can see the file is showing up here and I do not have a red cross next to it. So it means that I can edit the file. Okay. And let's do one more testing. So since uh, now I'm, I'm able to see the file on both of the sides. So what I'll do is I'll just check out the file to myself. Okay. I, I, I want that uh, the file. Okay. The file uh, is not available for anyone to edit. I'll select the file. I'll click on checkout. So the file is being checked out to me. Okay. No other person would be able to make any changes to it or either uh, would be able to open it. Okay. Now I'll refresh on the left hand side. Okay. So you can see that the icon. Okay. Previously it was red. Now it is. Uh, not red but still uh, an arrow a downward arrow it means that file is basically checked out to me okay but can be visible to other persons if they have edit view or uh, or read access they would be able to see it but they won't be able to make any changes to it so right now I am a site administrator I'm opening this file okay the moment I try to edit the file I won't be able to edit it. I would get a message uh, saying that file is being checked out to this person and you won't be able to make any changes to it. Okay. It will open the file for me, but as a read only uh, view. Okay. So I have this edit option. Okay. I'll just click on edit and let's see if I'm able to edit it. Okay. Okay, now you can see that sorry, we can't edit the document because currently it is checked out to someone else. Okay, I can only open this in reading view. I cannot edit it uh, or cannot do anything with this file. And the more option, okay, there is one more option which uh, comes up is discard checkout. So right now the file is basically checked into me, uh, it's checked out to me basically, and I, I I can check in the file so that other user would be able to uh, make any changes to it and the second option is discard checkout so discard checkout is basically the file is uh, checked out to you and uh, you know you want that uh, the changes which you have done okay won't get saved so what you can do is you can just uh, click on discard checkout and changes which you have done it will be reverted back so you can see if you discard your checkout, you will lose all the changes made to the document. Are you sure you want to discard your checkout? Okay. So let me show you what happens when you use this option. Okay. So firstly, I'll open this document. Okay. And I'll make some changes to it. Okay. So right now I have this test. I'll give, I'll write one more test here. Okay. File is automatically getting saved and you can see uh, the file is being saving here. Okay, so I'll just come up. I'll close this file is being saved. So you can see the icon has been changed. It's saved now. I can close this. Okay, I can refresh it. And uh, to verify, let's open the file once again. If the file, if the changes has been saved or not. Okay, you can see the the changes has been saved. Let's go back. Okay and let's select this option more and discard checkout so like i mentioned that whatever changes you have done would will be uh, removed if you use this if you use this option discard checkout i'll click on yes okay so the file is being uh, checked in now and it is available for uh, everyone to use it so you can see that i'm not uh, let me refresh this Okay, so I'm not getting that uh, arrow icon, the down arrow icon here, and I can open and edit the file if you want. But like I said, the changes will be removed. Okay, let's see. 
okay so i have okay so i have opened the file and you can see that i last time i have written a test one more down the line but it has been gone so the changes which i made okay it's been gone so that is uh, actually what happens when you discard checkout so the changes you made actually goes away so uh, it's always advisory to uh, check in the file instead of uh, check out discard checkout option because the changes which you made okay it will not be available and it will be removed and you cannot uh, recover it because you you have already checked it and uh, uh, if you want to you know uh, do anything so you can see that there is no version created that is uh, there is only one version which is 1.0 so the changes which you have done is being swept away okay so there is no way to recover it so that is why it is not recommended to use discard checkout unless and until you are willingly to use it all right so i hope uh, this is clear to you and uh, one more thing i like to show there is one option which is manage files which have no checked in version okay so that option basically comes up when you create a file the very first version of the file and if it is checked out so only in that scenario uh, you can uh, you can able to check in the file for uh, for any uh, other person okay suppose i suppose there is one user who have uh, created the file okay who has checked out the file but he has not checked in the file so that other user won't be able to see it and any other person comes to you and says that there was one file which supposed to be here but it is not here so uh, being an admin you can check that how many files are there and uh, which has no checked in version so you can check from that list and uh, select the file and take the ownership of it and then you can check in so let me show you quickly okay so let me show you one more thing i'll click on more okay i'll select this checkout option the file is being checked out to me and like i said if the file is already created i mean the file is already created and uh, okay and it is being checked out okay and uh, there is no the i mean it, it only happens when there is no other version created there is only one version of the file okay so that only happens on, on that scenario when in uh, suppose the new file is created and it's being uploaded or anything like that okay so you can see this file is being checked out but i'm not able to see any checked in option like i'm not uh, able to see any check fall uh, check out files here okay but let me quickly show you through an example that what i was saying i'll click on upload okay uh, let's select this option item png okay i'm uploading this file so the moment i upload it it is already checked out to me okay so let's refresh it all right cool now you can see on the left hand side i can see that the file is basically checked out and I am not I'm, and now I can uh, take the ownership of this file and can check it uh, for any other uh, user to edit. So this is what I was saying that whenever you create any file. So the very first time you create any file or you upload any file and it is being checked out and you have not checked it in only those files would be um, available here. So if any file is uh, already created and you have done some changes but you have uh, not checked in or anything okay so those files will not be available here it will only show you the files which is recently created or uploaded by the user and have not been checked out okay so let me show you what happens when you do that select the file take ownership of the selection okay and hit okay so basically now the file is being uh, checked out to you you can check go to settings okay you can see the file is there and let me hover this okay so you can see that you checked out this item so others cannot so others cannot edit it means that this user okay this user has edited sorry uploaded the file okay but did not uh, uh, checked it in so i was able to uh, check it in on my name 
check it out on my name i can so i can check it in so that other users can able to see it okay this is confusing but the moment you uh, stepped into the environment and try these things you would be able to do it on yourself okay so i'll check in and okay it's not popped up let me do one more again one more time check in cool now okay so the file has been checked out and uh, you know see the direct down what arrow will be removed from this file okay so it means that file is available and can be um, edited by anyone okay all right so this is the last bit of the uh, video today and now i can see that both of the on both the ends the file does not have uh, a checked out option it does not have a downward arrow so uh, so you may be thinking that now i would be able to edit the document before uh, uh, doing a checkout to myself so this is not possible let me show you that when you open the file okay so how does it look like so you can see that file is there okay but you won't be able to edit it unless and until uh, you basically checked out to yourself okay and even let me show you edit document edit so the moment you try to edit it it says that please check out this document before editing in word so it will open in reading view for you as well if you are not uh, checking out the file to yourself first okay so let me show you let me refresh it i am coming up here more and check out now i am checking this file out to myself and if i want to make any changes to the file now i can do it okay i have opened the file let's see if i can open it okay now you can see that now it is opening opening up in uh, editing format so previously it was not opening in edit format it was just a reading view okay so this is what happens when you enable the check-in and check-out feature on the library so if you want to make any changes to the document then you need to check out to yourself first and only then it will be available uh, for editing otherwise it will open only in the read view okay so uh, let me uh, uh, revise the things which we have discussed so uh, check in and check out uh, comes comes uh, into place when you stop uh, when you want to stop the collaboration it means that uh, you want that one person should be able to work on one file at a time only in that scenarios the check in check out should be used okay. so i hope uh, that i was able to clear all the things if not then please uh, pay, please feel free to reach out to me via messages uh, uh, in the comment and i will be able uh, i will be happy to answer you so till then happy learning hope you uh, enjoyed bye